Hey, Scout. Scout. Scout's going to help me out with a deck tech here. This is Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com. Always now he's going to hide. You camera shy too? Um, so, just messing around with the pre-release. Pre-releases got done. I did three of them. Hope everyone else's pre-releases went okay. Uh, won one of them, went four and one the other one, and did decent in the other one. Um, went three and two in the other one. So, anywho, let's just look at the uh, mana base. Oh, wait, anyway, this is Prize Amalgam. This is Prize Amalgam 2.0. A lot of you might remember that at the start of the season I ran a Prize Amalgam deck. Actually, one of my game day with a very similar list that tries to use the Haunted Dead Prize Amalgam combo. I use Den Protector and Deathmiss Raptor, so that's the biggest thing that is going to need replaced. And in this one, I found a combo. So I need four of these, actually. I have two of them so far. But is the Scrappy Scrounger. So Scrappy Scrounger is another card that can actually trigger off the Prize Amalgam. As it's just two mana, exit another creature card from your graveyard, and return it back to the, the battlefield tapped. It can't block with this scrounger is one of the problems with it, but it's still aggressive at 3-2. So the combo that I'm going to use with the Scrap Heat Scrounger is you're just going to exile some excess haunted deads, or we have eternal scourges. I think those are the best ones to work in this sort of strategy, as it is something that you can exile then recasting in. You want to, it'll, Eternal Scourges will want to be milled, and then we have this tech, which is the Lost Legacy, which is still good against all the Emrakul decks. I think the Emrakul is not going anywhere. I also think that a lot of these one-trick pony decks, is what I like to call them, are not going anywhere. So Lost Legacy can just be a main uh, board. They can either tutor up four Eternal Scourges, because it says name play or not. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be opponent. And if if not, uh, we, we'll grab all Eternal Scourges. If not, we'll grab one of their, their key cards. So the shell is pretty much similar. We ran before we had one Ishkana, three Elder Deep Fiends, and one Decimator. And then we'll run four Scrap Peeps. And I'm going to try out the Smuggler's Copter. I'm going to go a different, couple different routes. We're going to try the Soul Tide, and Soul Tide doesn't work to our advantage. Uh, then I think that just green, black, or even blue black is actually very viable, running more Smuggler's Copters and some other cards that just... Uh, came out early to make the Smuggler's Copter attack in because this is the perfect card. You draw a card, then discard. You don't have to discard, then draw. And this has been attacking in on turn three. And most of our cards are going to actually come out on turn three. Even the Haunted Dead, we can discard cards uh, to then crew with the Spirit Token that comes into play untapped. You can cr crew the Smuggler Copter and then attack in and discard, draw and discard. So I think it's the best way uh, to actually draw a discard. It's also a nice little defensive creature, 3-3, three, three, that's not bad. It can block Sylvan Advocates, uh, can kill dust, mist, dust, dust Mantle, or Dust Watch Recruiters. So the mill strategy is a little bit worse without Commune. Uh, commune, I think we're going to have to replace just with Traverse the Uvenwald. Or not Commune, it was uh, Gather the Pack. So Gather the Packs are now Traverse the Uvenwalds, but I'm still running two Oath of Jaces, four Grapple the Pass, and, or, well, not Traverse, excuse me, Vessel of Nascency. So we should, we should have Enchantment, Instant, Sorcery, Artifact, Creature, pretty much in the, our land, in the deck, uh, very often. So that mana base is just the four Evolving Wilds, a number of forest, islands, swamps, and I think what's really good about this is both of these Fastlands are really good in this deck. So the Bossing March and the, the Botanical Sanctum come into play with an untapped green on turns 1, 2, and 3. And that's what you want these decks to do, these, these lands to do. So they're going to be able to get the Vessels and the Grapples out. And then I have a 1 of Westvale Abbey, just because it's nice to be able to have an alternate win condition uh, that can gain life. I've, Westvale Abbey's done a lot of work in these type of decks. And a 1 of Sunken Hollow, because it's another card that you land you can tutor with Traverse, that's actually pretty, pretty powerful. So, uh, the, the kill condition is just Elder Deep Fiend Lock. So once you have enough Traverse Uvenwalds or Elder Deep Fiends in your hand, then you can just recast Elder Deep Fiend, uh, tap things down, and it usually only takes like two, two turns of attacking, and you're going to beat them down. And all these are just such renewable resources. So against control or mid-range decks, that all of these cards will be really good. It's Eternal Scourge, going to be a pretty good card. Uh, just continue to cast back. And then it's got just the recurring theme of the Scrap Heap Scrounger and Eternal Scourge over and over and over. Both those have three power on board. Uh, again, this can't be, can't block, but the Advocate really can't block in to the Scrappy Scrounger very well. So that's kind of the main. Uh, one last little look at I'll try to have a deck list up here. Ooh, focus, focus, focus. Now let's just talk about some of the options that we get out of the new set. So, of course, the options that we have in the sideboard that we usually have is like Distended Mindbender is a thing. Distend Mindbender can be a nice little merge to eat, eat out cards out of your opponent's hand. You can eat out pretty quickly because in merge 7, you end up having to just pay 4. So it actually occurs pretty well through 3 drops. We have the Noxious Gearhulk. 
Noxus Gearhold can easily be uh, tutored up with Traverse the Ubenwald. I'm going to love this card in an Eldritch Evolution deck. We get some awesome Enter the Battlefield uh, type cards. There's a lot of flicker effects and Enter the Battlefield effect cards in this set. So there's going to be a lot of brewing around. Both the like Goblin Dark Dwellers will be fun. Um, uh, the Eldrazi Displacer will be fun with cards like Noxious Gearhold. So I'll be looking for a brew that actually tries to tutor up combos with, with Eldrazi Displacer and cards like Noxious Gearhulk. Um, but anyway, in this deck, it's going to be a sideboard option for Traverse to go grab you a kill card. And this is the perfect kill card because it destroys a creature and you gain life equal to its toughness. It's going to kill like opposing Ishkanaz for sure. Uh, it can actually kill the opposing Emrakul if you top deck a Traverse, for example. And then will, you'll be able to gain 13 life off of the Noxious Gear Hulk. So there's that. Perpetual Timepiece seems interesting for a self mill. Uh, put the top two cards immediately for two mana, and then you can keep doing that each turn. And that will be a way to put in a lot of mill. And then I don't think you'd ever use the exile thing, shuffling number of target cards from your graveyard. I would just said from any graveyard. Then it'd give uh, some like hate against the Delirium decks, but we didn't really get many hate against Delirium. The another good tutor card is going to be the Demon of the Dark Schemes. Elish Evolution is going to love this card as well. As it comes into play, all creatures get negative two, negative two. Uh, your Eternal Scourges and your Prize Amalgams will survive. If you're going against like humans, it will wipe their board and then give you a lot of energy. And then you can put Dark Creature card from your graveyard on the battlefield tap, which is key because it's another way to get back all your prized amalgams. So that's always an option. We still have the Voldaren Pariah here. That is a nice little tutor or main board card as it works pretty well with the Haunted Dead. Uh, for just one prize amalgam and haunts dead, you can actually sack it. Uh, I've fallen out of favor with the, the Voldaren Pariah just because the Fiery Temper is a thing. Instant speed removal as you're trying to transform and just get blown out a lot. So I still like Pick the Brain in Delirium decks. I think it's perfectly viable in this deck. I don't know if it, instead of like Lost Legacy, it's just playing better. Or if Pick the Brain, what I like about Pick the Brain is you don't have to name a card. You just reveal, you, you get, get, a, uh, get a card out of their hand and then get all copies if you have Delirium. Speaking of we're in, if we're just into blue and not into green, I think Vessel of the Paramnesia, Paramnesia, Paramnesia is actually a fine uh, option instead of Traverse because this card actually puts four cards or, into your graveyard. So the Vessel Enchantment will go in the graveyard, three more, and then, but then you just get to draw a card. The, the other Vessel is a little bit better because you have better options. You can just miss with Vessel. Uh, the, the green vessel with this one you don't miss because you could just blindly get a draw card. So, I mean, blue between Oath of Jaces and the vessel, I think we have plenty. And there are still like contingency plans and things like that that can self mill. Um, so, Collective Brutality, of course, is still going to be the sideboard. Uh, it's a bomb part, card against anything with two toughness. And it gains you life, kills something, gets rid of a card out of their hand, uh, instant or sorcery. Call of the Bloodline also seems pretty cool in this deck because it's a way to crew the uh, turn three again right on time. Where'd that, that vehicle go? I've, I've made a mess out of these cards already. So I like this combination. I really like this combination between the Call, call the Bloodline and, and Smuggler's Copter. So this this kind of like turn three, you throw on Call of Bloodline, you discard a card, it crews the Smuggler's Copter attack and you discard even more cards. So it's a good way to get like prize amalgams in the bin. I think this is gonna be a nice little um, Combination in these these uh, madness type decks, Copter is is insanely good so far. Again, it plays nice defense versus your opponent's uh, Sylvan Advocates and whatnot. And Reflector Mage can actually get the Copter, which is really cool about that because Reflector Mage is still a thing and is still annoying. So Wretch Grift is another thing that we could use to sacrifice things if we want to go more of a merge strategy. It's still a, a definitely a, a good option. And just like sideboard is, is still pretty similar to how it's been. You have cards like Ishkana that just completely shut down the, de the, the uh, board uh, against any sort of uh, hyper-aggressive type strategy. We also have Pulse of Marasa, which I like. And then I just think even like, like Noxious Gearhulks are definitely the way to go that just like really blank things in their track. I really like Noxious Gearhulk versus Ishkana, for example. You gain five life. But that's just basically the, the, the gist of it. Sorry for my shaky. I'm just kind of doing this on the fly. Uh, messing around with cards. A lot of you complain I don't have a lot of brews on my channel anymore and I'm called Rogue Deck Builder. We're going to get back in the swing of things. Um, I'm going to set up the Patreon and I'll guarantee that if we can get people uh, to sponsor a video series, um, I'll 100% do it on my channel uh, for, for that Patreon. Uh, so it'll probably come out like Wednesdays or something like that. But, you know, I, I'll, I'll treat it like a day of work. If people actually want to sponsor like a, a rogue 
deck tech and brew i still do it for gathering magic every week a lot of people forget about that that every week i do a new different either rogues alley or playing on a budget for gathering magic and so there's 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 most of the gameplay i usually do on their channel uh, but if people want to see another extra video series, you know, we're going to get that, that patron set up because of by popular demand. I keep having people email me about it. We're hitting 25,000 subscribers pretty soon. And I think I'm going to take the channel more seriously, uh, the shop and the channel. So I'm going to try to actually see if this can actually be a thing. If people like it. Uh, oh, yeah. There's one other card that went in this. Hey, to the slaughter. Awesome card for Delirium. Still viable. Oh, this card one last time. They, Delirium is so much easier now, Scrappy. Uh, artifact. Artifact, enchantment, instant sorcery, land, creature. Very easy. Anyway, let me know what you think about that deck list. And now it's in, in, in <laughs> That's how I brew. That's what you get to deal with if, uh, uh, if you're Zach and have to sort my cards after I brew. So anyway, that's what we have going on. Uh, just look for more things in the uh, upcoming pretty soon. I still have a top 10 list that I need to do. Um, pretty upset about the top 10 list. I'll talk about that <laughs> when we get to it, but... I uh, have some really, really cool things coming up in the future. So thanks for all the, the people. We've had probably our highest subscriber growth in a month that I've had in a long time. Uh, over like 800, 900, I believe, this month, uh, some new subscribers. So appreciate all the new subscribers. Uh, I hope you enjoy the channel. And we'll get back to Bruin Decks. This has been Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com. Thanks for watching.